Hello, I am Harald Wasakiris and I am going to unbox Raiden Trade. Here we have the box of the game and uh, these are the rules. As you can see, they're fully illustrated and it's easy to read, easy to understand and that's it. And here's a beautiful pouch that inside it we have many resource tokens and you can use them uh, throughout the game to do various stuff and what else do we have so these are the um, character seats that you can uh, see with, uh, we have a uh, dials uh, that we can use also throughout the game to uh, configure on what we do in the game we have five of them, five different characters in the base game and we also have big tiles that we are using to um, uh, make the city, to form the city and from the back of the tiles we have also the wasteland so it's another type of game that we can have also for the characters we have the dice different dice for um, each uh, character and we also have the, um, the raid die um, which we can use to do the raid in the buildings and now that we set buildings and these are the uh, tiles, the small tiles that we use to um, use for the buildings so we know what uh, to raid so the medium um, houses and small houses and the red ones are the large houses which they give us more stuff as they get bigger and bigger so what else do we have okay now these are used for the characters so each character has a specific um, stuff that they can craft uh, like these two so you see at the back there is a specific characters icon so you can um, easily distinguish between uh, all the characters and also we have this incident cards so the incident cards are used each uh, time you go further in the game into a new tile and we can see different things that happen throughout the game the players can take this card and use them for different things okay also there are some more tokens to be used uh, in a different play style of the game uh, we have uh, two or three modes uh, for the game so you can enjoy more hours to play with it and also here are the global events now the global events are for the for all the players and they change a bit each round um, of your play and there are many different stuff so you can enjoy the game more okay so in the game uh, you can, we can you can actually win the game by fulfilling some quests for the golden city so here are some quests where you can see on um, how how to obtain these quests so you you can um, each time you play it's a different quest so you kind of adjust your gameplay uh, in on whatever you want to succeed and that's it and uh, oh yeah also we have these these are some tiles that you can use to differentiate uh, the game for the black market so this is the black market tiles uh, where you can see that you can trade for um, whatever resources to one resource of your choice and also we have double sided and you can make the game easier harder so we have lots of hours of gameplay. 
here we have some more tokens. These are used for the, uh, the outpost. So, and what happens if you um, open the tile of a uh, building? We have, wait, some building tiles. Some building a card story for the the small one, small uh, houses. So uh, each time you raid a house, a different card shows up and uh, and shows up, and you get different resources and some extra stuff with it. And last but not least, we have the miniatures. So this is the miniature of the outpost. Here you can see. There's also in the game a tile of the outpost, but it's not as much fun as using the miniature. And along with it, we have the four, five, sorry, characters. And they're beautifully made and lots of detail. And let me tell you a bit more about them. So, this fella here is Carter. He's a more, uh, um, you know, in your face. Carter used to attack and defend well. Uh, we also have Jake, which is the, the mechanic. He uses a lot of stuff that he crafts uh, to obtain, obtain things. We have the medic, the Mayu. And he's a really good player in the game. We also have Zoe. Fun fact, Zoe and Jake are brothers, sister. And Garcia, the trader. He has a special um, power where he can trade with all the players for free, because if you're not Garcia, you have to pay to, um, to trade with each other. Okay, now let's uh, quickly build a city. So this is going to be the centerpiece. And uh, we are going to put here all the other pieces. This is a modular board and we can build it each time differently. So we, uh, it's time we have a different experience. Let's put this here. Yeah, and this is our city. And uh, as you can see here, we have some, some boxes and we put the, uh, the buildings here in the boxes, for example, like this. And if you see the um, number four or five, it means that if you have a fourth or fifth player, uh, you, um, you place the uh, tiles there. And um, we also have the roads and the, the roads and the um, signs here. So you, whether you can pass and pay something or you can freely move around. So yeah, that's it.